After several years as the leader of the People Power Movement, Chadondo East MP Robert Chagulanyi has today unveiled a new political party, National Unity Platform. The unveiling of the new political party has elicited varying reactions from different analysts of Uganda's political landscape. It was clear they were teetering towards forming a political party. Russia doesn't surprise. But in the big upset politics in the country, I don't think it strengthens them. It eats into the power and appeal of people power as a movement, right? Because they've become more structured as any other traditional political party. It will be easy for government to crack it down. Because in the past, it was just a loose arrangement. It was just a political formation which lacked structures, which did not have a legal entity. Now that it has a legal entity, somebody can easily challenge it in court or they can apply some of the existing laws or bits to curtail its growth. And what is the future of the People Power Pressure Group? I can guarantee you, this is People Power is dying, right? The death is going to be slow, but it's a short, right? Because he has made it easy to deal with. It has always been very difficult to deal with Honorable Chagulani as an individual, with an undefined following, with the people who claim they are people who claim they are in NRM, but they are also in the People Power. So it became very difficult. The analysts also believe People Power's latest move will have a major impact on other political parties. It might not be welcome because it is going to greatly undermine their efforts as we are aware that in the past few days a number of candidates had expressed interest in taking on the People Power ticket. So it, was, it is going to undermine the political base of most of these traditional opposition players. Leaders of some opposition political parties have welcomed the move, but they have also cautioned the new political party of what lies ahead. That a party at a time when you are not allowed to move, obviously again becomes a problem. Uh, a party formed at a time when parties are actually almost indirectly banned, also joins the bandwagon of banned political organizations, although this then now refocuses the voice. The voice is now uniform. It is usually a risky move to, to make, but the right one. Because now he can do a head count and he will know how many people he is with. But also there are standards now. It is easier to deal with an institution than dealing with an individual. Some political analysts believe the new party will help to set straight some errant members of other political parties who are using the people power movement as a safe haven after misbehaving in their parties. To, for you to qualify to stand a people power ticket, you're going to have to have a card which says you belong to this party, right? Now, if people, you, you, know, you cannot have both. You can't have an FDC card and an NUP card. You can't have different NUP. So what does that mean? It means they've been disenfranchised, those who aspire to the movement. They've been kicked away, technically. Today, he has now set the standards. Either you are in his party or you are not. Because you see, some of the coordinators were known and people who professed to be NRM. The unfortunate bit with the pressure group with an undefined uh, political platform, a lot of 14 hunters will come and camp there. For now, only the party president, Robert Chagulanyi, has been unveiled, and it remains to be seen who will fill the remaining leadership positions in the national unity platform or what impact it will have on the political landscape as the country gears up to the 2021 elections. Ali Mivule, NT. Put down the umbrellas so that we unveil, so that uh, the leader unveils, then we'll have them up. Eh? Eh?